What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we're gonna go over some market we're going to go over my investments and how I'm going to make so much MT off this packs, um, off these super packs. So before we get into it, guys, let's smash that like button. 50 likes in this video, man. We'll do another MT giveaway. Um, we're announcing the winners tonight. And guys, the Bills game is on tonight. So let's go Buffalo Bills. If you're a Tennessee fan, man, I want smoke. But yo, anyways, I'm selling MT on Twitter and Instagram. If you guys need MT, if you guys want to build a god squad make sure to hit me up we have very very fast service fastest service on the internet right now and uh yo let's get into the market i'm going to show you some of my investments oh uh, i got investments on this account i got investments on another account so uh, we're going to go over all the investments so i just want to start it off with mono ginobili guys if you did not invest in mono ginobili you gotta be crazy uh my man mono ginobili we didn't invest in one we didn't invest in two not three but we invested in four um He's a key investment, guys. So this is how it works. So you're gonna invest in him. Yeah, we're probably we're gonna get idols five, uh, four this week or idols three. Um, idols three is gonna drop. What's gonna happen is when the set drops, hopefully it's an OP card. I'm thinking um, maybe a solid shooting guard small forward or maybe a power forward center, whatever it is. It's gonna be a beastly card. So what's gonna happen is when that set drops, since there hasn't been Manu impacts for a while, like strictly Manu, that price is going to go up a lot. So what I did was pick up four, three on this account and one on the other. I'm gonna show you what I also got on the other account. Um, yeah, Manu Ginobili and Dominique Wilkins were definitely one of the best investments by far, okay? Um, by far. And then we're gonna go over this card right here, man. Christos Porzingis was an absolutely amazing investment. Why? He's one of the only stretch centers in the game, and he's actually affordable. So honestly, in this video, with my last 100,000 MT, I'm about to scoop up a couple more Christops. I got some of mine for around 30 to 32K. As you can see, he's not up that much, but here's the thing. We got season two coming this week, and Christos Porzingis is a very solid center. Comparing him to Moses Malone, okay. He could shoot threes, man. He's a decent mid-range, decent post hook. This price range is about 40K difference. Not only that, man, he's way taller than Moses Malone. That's why I feel like this Christos Porzingis is definitely very, very interesting. Um, definitely scoop him up. I think he rises about 10K. If he rises about 10K, you're going to make at least 6 to 7K per Christos Porzingis. So I decided to pick up around three. Not a bad idea. He is going up already. Um, so that's another one of my investments. And I'm going to show you all my other investments. I think KD is another one. But I'm going to show you another MT making method most likely tomorrow to maximize your MT. Some of you guys may know it. Some of you guys may not. But yo, I did get Kevin Durant for very, very cheap. I also sniped a Magic Johnson for 100,000 MT. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, man. Uh, as you can see, his price is going down. Right now is not the time to sell. Market is slowly going back up. If you guys did end up sniping a lot of cards, you have to wait. You got to be patient. But yo, we're going to go over to my other account. I'm going to show you what I sniped on my other account. This, this account, I didn't really snipe that much because I do have a set team on this account. Uh, but yo, we're going to get over to my other account. I'm going to show you how much MC I really did make and what I think I'm going to make. So let's get into it. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, we got... The squad, and we're about to show you what we invested in, and um, yeah, we're about to make crazy MT. Um, I got Kevin Durant for around 90 something K MT. That was also on my Twitter, and uh, I tried sneaking in some bids on Dominique and uh, Mono Ginobili. Didn't really work out because they did have shoes and badges on them. But uh, here are some of my investments. I got 80 for 10K, he's going for 20. Prazingis for 30K, Magic for 100K, and then I also got couple other cards i think we just got manu and kevin durant so on all those accounts man we got this kevin durant badge the hell out man he has way more he has an extra hall of fame i believe or a couple extra gold badges okay he has an extra couple gold badges and uh, as you guys can see he's already at a bit again so what i think is his price will probably rise up to 120k i'll make around 20,000 mt profit off him i'll make a mileage of nobly guys i saw one the other day for 170k it's in one of my videos if you don't believe me Mono Ginobili is going to go up a lot. And why did I buy this Mono Ginobili for around 98k? 
He has 19 gold badges and I, does he have an extra Hall of Fame? He also has an extra Hall of Fame badge. So if you think about that, let's compare him to mine. What Hall of Fame badges he have different? And he has Hot Start, okay? He has Hot Start. He also has plus four gold badges, guys. Um, this card right here should sell for at least 150k when in need. He's definitely gonna go up in value. Um, these are pretty good investments. Not only that, these investments are gonna help your squad. You do need a lot of MT to actually invest. So this video is kind of hard, but if you guys have the MT to invest, you're gonna make a lot of MT. I also invested in Przingis, nothing crazy. And uh, one other card that I did not invest in that I forgot about. Three other cards that I want to talk about in this video is most definitely Clay Thompson. And another card is Allen Houston, Mitch Richmond, and Derrick Rose. Those are also other cards that are kind of key and kind of key investments for 38k I'm buying out Clay. I might as well buy out all these Clays, man. Um, he's definitely going to go up in value. It's Clay Thompson. He's probably going to get a dynamic duo with Steph Curry. And uh, let's check on D Rose and let's check on Hallen Houston and Mitch Richmond because those cards were rare all year. And I want to see if their value really did drop. And as you guys can see, man, Derek Rose down a big ton. So D Rose down to 38K. Is that worth the investment? Probably not. I mean, he does have 23 gold baddies. He can't really shoot, but it is Derek Rose and he does have decent speed. I mean, it's up to you. He did go up a lot last time. It is a hype Derrick Rose card. Let's go over to Allen Houston as well. Uh, Allen Houston's down in value a lot. I think he might be worth the snag, especially at 15. That's probably, yeah, that's probably going. Uh, Allen Houston's not a bad card either. I kind of want to monitor his price a little bit. Honestly, for 18,005, you can't go wrong for that value. That's a, It's a very good card. So I'm going to buy him out. Um, that's a pretty good filter you probably want to stay on as well. And let's go over Mitch Richmond, Doug Christie, some low-key Amethyst, maybe even, uh, what's his name? Sleepy Floyd's also maybe a good one. There's a lot of Amethysts that are dropping down in value, thank lord, because those Amethysts were super rare and they shouldn't have been. But, uh, Mitch Richmond, maybe I'll snag one for a decent value. Ah, that's too much. And then let's check over Sleepy Floyd, Doug Christie, all those good boys, because they're going for a lot of MT. Doug Christie... Two of them for around 11,900. I'm honestly gonna scoop out both of those. And then I'm also going to look at Kobe Bryant. To I think Kobe Bryant's gonna go up in value again because it's Kobe Bryant, man. There's like no Kobe's in the game. And I have sold a lot for 100K. And Kobe Bryant is around 55,000 MT. That is a little risky on the buyout, but let's check out the market just a little more, getting glance of it. Um, mm, Kobe Bryant, it's a little risky. I'm going to stay away from that Kobe Bryant. I don't know if it's completely worth it. But yo, right now, looking at all my investments, man, there's a lot of investments. One more thing I want to say, man. Amethyst Current 20 Lakers, man. Scope this filter out. It's been going crazy. This is an insane filter. You just have to consistently look forward to it. You're gonna make a lot of MT, man. You just gotta be patient. You really gotta know what you're investing in. Like I said, man, every time super packs come out, just do, just throw out your MT. If you lose MT, that is just BS. It always works out for me. You just gotta throw out your MT. Don't even worry about the risk. Just gotta have somewhat little of knowledge to make your MT. If you don't have any knowledge, you could literally just watch my videos and I literally step-by-step -step show you how to make MT really not that hard you just have to chuck out all your mt that's why i say sell your squad man focus on mt because there's gonna be that point in time where you really want to grind and get that dope squad and just continue to grind but yo right now with all the investments i'm gonna make thou hundreds of thousands of mt i would say by saturday i'm gonna keep some of these investments i'm gonna have a little bit more mt to actually keep there but yo, other than that, man, definitely scope out some of these low-key Amethyst cards, man. Uh, like I was saying, Allen Houston, Derrick Rose, scope those out because those still have a lot of value. That can make you a lot of MT. And then honestly, tomorrow, we're going to drop in a, an absolute banger. Uh, we're going to show you guys how to make even more MT if you guys didn't realize. But yo, other than that, man, that's really all we got for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to try to also get this Giannis. But yo, don't sell your cards today. That's all I really got to say. Let's go, Bills. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure you hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.